Hi guys, we are Dr. Doctor and AC three two zero Master Professor YouTube and Lecture. So I'm also practicing with you all, and let's explore together. And uh, yeah, I'm accessing to the lab material at uh, GitHub, and um, we can see under AV two two zero Master Professor IoT. Uh, developer and then there's instruction and then you can see it like this let's go and do it okay this is how you will see you can choose to download you can press at the code here and then you can download it as a zip and have it as uh, as, as a local file and you need to do that actually you, you definitely need because there are some instructions for some of the lab which you may need to use the folders uh, the setup and installation that's given by GitHub. Okay, now we are going to the instruction because we're going to follow step by step what's written over there. And then we'll go to the lab. Let's look at what's in the demo. So, alright, demo is GitHub and template. So, today we're going to follow step by step on the lab. And let's start with lab 1. You know, there are some of the labs I've already done, but uh, I'll we'll explore together with you. And uh, make sure that you already have your portal.azure uh, installed or updated. So we, we, will, we will be using both uh, GitHub and uh, we'll be using portal.azure so if you do not have an account in portal.azure please uh, get an account and uh, we will be using that you know it, the whole practice is all about in portal.azure so you can create a dummy or an account and uh, and with, with a valid email and valid phone number or mobile number and then you need to put in your credit card details so a free installation will come with $100 uh, credit uh, where you can explore these services in Azure so in this case if you can see I, I have already um, have the I already have the account ready and then I have installed. So yeah, I've, I've tested some of the uh, uh, practice. So what I'll do together with you all, I'll be doing it again. You know, it's also a revision for my end. At the same time, for those who have not done this lab, I hope that this will become a guide. So we learn together. So let's get our our platform here set up, and um, I'm gonna put it at side here, and get you know set our system so that we can look at both. Okay, the smaller screen that is sustaining about the Azure lab because we we need to follow step by step guide. Okay, and uh, on the other end, we are looking at uh, the portal itself. So these are the two main things you need to get it ready. So get ready with the GitHub uh, login or register or sign up with your email ID and then get into Microsoft Azure IoT, Instructional Lab, and then get into AK01, getting started with Azure. Then go to lab one, that's the fitting. And on the other end, I have the portal ready. So let's look at it. In this lab, we'll be exploring about Azure portal, and then we'll create an Azure dashboard and a resource group. So where, wherever I've missed it, and we'll create it together. Okay, so let's go into the first exercise, explore Azure portal. Just 
uh, on my left hand side and then we are looking at creating a dashboard so let me minimize this a little bit more okay task one examining dashboard portal home page okay so we have already navigated to portal.html.com if you don't know then you are the microsoft has given There's, there's no way we're going to get lost so if we get lost we will explore together and get it back okay okay so in the let's let's go and do it okay now we go to the next step which is in the upper left corner so portal window click the hamburger icon this this particular icon is called hamburger menu icon when you click on this see what we have okay we have three Okay. Hmm. Menu, four menus. So what do they mean? Home, dashboard, and all things. So perhaps you may see create a resource this also. Okay. And then what we are looking at is click on home. So let's click on home. So let's see, I am already in the home page, but to you, you will see nothing. There is no free resources except for free trial subscription you basically will only see this fine item and uh to the left side navigation menu we see the quick service help what what do they mean by service help Just give me a minute. Mm, Alright, so we start. Where's the meeting as a result? Probably you may see it as a result because the, you have not created any uh, account before. So, I don't see anything on service cell. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna search here. You know, okay, and I'm gonna click that. This is because uh, I've already subscribed. So why do I have to return global and Southeast Asia, right? Okay, and then what do they want? all right series of regions so in my case i'm from malaysia so i have two one is global and one is southeast asia okay the upper left corner so i'm staying here on left corner of the show all services and going back to home page Thank you, Azure Service. How is this over here? Okay, then task one is all about that. So you can create a region based on that when you're official. And alright. So it's asking us to create on all services. I have to click on all services. Categories on. So let's click on that. We are seeing everything here, right? So you see everything that's out there. And then click Internet of Things. Let's search for us. It's Internet of Things. That's under Categories. Alright, we have it here. In the Categories, you can see Internet of Things. Let's click that. So, and then we are going to all service page. Hover your mouse pointed on IoT Hub. I hover. Right, I see it. The dialog box appears. Yes, you are right. So, 
you're gonna click I've already clicked it would be like this for you you're gonna click it oh okay okay so that will be part of your favorite IOT help right we have done this and we're moving to this and then we're gonna see same process at completion device provisioning okay you're gonna click the star button here as well as let's look at what are the other things the stream analytic jobs you're gonna click star button here okay and then where is the logic app you're gonna click star button here and then uh, let's call it account can see storage account if you see storage account then you can do this thing and we miss the storage account so i don't see i don't see the storage account i'm gonna click here storage account You just need to go to general other storage account to be Oh, sorry, under storage. How do we search storage account? Under storage, click this. Oh, okay. So click on general on this and then subscription. Where's the subscription? Okay, let's click favorite and then under resource group also click favorite. Once you're done, finish. And then we're going to come into our menu. So what we got to do here, okay, it's uh, and uh, additional to this we have also here search resource. So here, what they are saying is that they have okay, this is the search button, and then we have cloud shell here, directory, notification, and setting help feedback. Basically, about this, so we can read about it if you want. You can just read about it. You can click help if you need any, any support. That's done. Okay, moving, we're moving fast. And exercise two, we're going to create a dashboard. Okay, so a custom dashboard, and we're going to create a resource group and add resource group title on your dashboard. Let's look at it. And uh, we click portal menu. I'm going to click dashboard. Okay, so um, by default, you don't see a dashboard, you would see a uh, Blank dashboard for you. This is how you would see you know, my dashboard. So I've already have the dashboard. Okay, let's do that. A C dash two two zero. Okay. Done customization. Empty dashboard. Okay, and then we go to the portal. Click resource group. And then we are adding it. Already added. Alright, and then at top last corner. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reduce the size maybe at like this or maybe here. Uh, five by three tiles. So what so you can just change it. Okay. And then we're gonna create a So you can, you would have blank, you know, resource left, and that's when you go into uh, enter resource. Okay, so let's save the menu. So it's either this, okay. If you don't have, then let's, let's 
So we can just click up here, response tool. And you click the install. As you will see, you know, uh, you can add a new response tool. In this case, I've already added AZ320. And uh, so we kind of did a song. We're going to play again another one. I'm going to click one. I'm going to add a new response tool. You will see in this way, and then that's where you enter A C two two. Why I want you to redo the name because the guy will use this particular reference tool. Let me show you. Just pull it to the table. Uh, uh, you know, you can just you do this. You can just copy this. I can't use it because I've already have it. And then make sure that you choose your region appropriately. Okay, and that covers. And then um, that, that will, will cover this part. And when you see in your resource group, if you refresh up here, you will see this. Uh, in this case, what I'm going to do is I will. I was testing it so I didn't test it. Mm. Okay. We're going back to dashboard. If you see under notification, it's already processing. Okay. Well, it doesn't matter. You can just press it to the next. And for you all, you will only see RG AZ to be zero and your cloud uh, shell storage, meaning to say it is by default it will come in. So, yeah, this one I need to edit it. You know, I want to edit Make sure you put the right resource group. In this case, I've already mistakenly put East Asia. It's supposed to be Southeast Asia. So when you are doing it, please, please, please make sure you put in the right location. Okay, done. Done. You tell us that your lab one is completed. That's all. You just saw I deleted. I think it's deleted, but it's still, still deleting. So that's okay. This is deleted, and that's it done. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel and look out for my next video on Lab 8K02. Thank you and bye bye.